Hey YouTube, Jam here. Welcome back to the Gaming Station. So I was honestly struggling to think about what I should do for this video since we're kind of in between updates and I just finished the meta series. Well, I decided to look at my notes for the meta series and look at the brawlers that I had ranked. And there are a few brawlers that I feel were on too many lists. I made seven lists and there are brawlers that were either ranked or honorable mentions on four of them. That's pretty crazy if you ask me. This compelled me to do a balance change wish list, focusing on nerfs for these brawlers. It's not that I want to see these brawlers killed, because I actually like a lot of these brawlers, but they are top tier in more than half of the game modes, and that's a problem, and they should be reined back in. So, I'm going to go through my list and give some thoughts on what I think would be appropriate changes for these brawlers. If you disagree with any of this, whether it's the brawler themselves or the change that I propose, feel free to let me know down in the comments. And, if I don't mention a brawler you think needs a nerf, drop that down there as well. Alright, let's get into this. So, the first brawler I'm going to talk about is going to be Poco. Poco was on four of my lists, being ranked in Gem Grab, Brawl Ball, and Duo Showdown, and being an honorable mention in Bounty as well. So, while Poco seems to be really useful right now, I wouldn't say he's a dominant brawler in any match by himself. He can be annoying, but normally the issue with Poco is going to be the comp around him. Poco is best when playing with tanks, being able to heal them up while chipping opponents at the same time. This is why Poco is going to have the simplest change overall. I think his Decapo star power needs a small nerf, or his gadget needs a nerf. One form of his extra healing needs to be brought down so he's not quite as effective at keeping tanks alive and thus bringing down his total effectiveness in the meta. I lean a little more towards the Decapo nerf because it wouldn't hurt lower level players quite as much. His gadget has such a small range that at times it's pretty ineffective. And the healing is over time so it's not going to save someone who's in trouble even if they do manage to get healing from it. While Decapo is an instant heal making it extremely easy to just sit back, spam shots into a crowd while healing your tank and doing damage to the opponents at the same time. Okay, the next brawler I'm going to suggest a nerf for is Sprout. So while Sprout is only on three of my list, I still feel as though he's on the strong side of the meta, and is very frustrating to play against at times, in my opinion. I have two things I'd like to see changed about Sprout. The first thing is the area of effect his attacks have. His shots seem to bounce forever, so they're hard to dodge in the first place, at least for me. Then, if you do manage to get away from them, if Sprout has overgrowth star power, it still explodes, affecting a huge area and will probably hit you anyway. This leads to consistent chip damage for Sprout, it makes it easy for him to control maps, get kills, and charge a super. So, I think Overgrowth needs to be nerfed or reworked into something different. It just makes Sprout too easy to play and makes him feel oppressive at times. The other thing I'd like to see nerfed on Sprout is his super duration. His walls seem to last forever. It's extremely annoying to try to move up the map just to have Sprout throw walls down on a choke point and force you to take another path. I like the idea of his super, but it lasts for something like 10 seconds if I'm not mistaken. And, with how easy it is for him to charge his super thanks to how easy his shots are to land, he can just chain them over and over again, giving his team control of the map and over how your team moves throughout it. I honestly think both of these changes need to be made, and in my opinion, these are what makes Sprout such a strong brawler right now. Alright, on to the next brawler. The next brawler I want to talk about is Rosa. Rosa only ranked on one list, being Gem Grab, but she was an honorable mention in Bounty, Siege, and Solo Showdown. So overall, that's 4 out of the 7 modes. One thing that might help bring her down is a small damage nerf. Make it so that mid-health brawlers have an easier time dealing with her. Right now, she can basically just rush at them and take them out because she 4 shots most of them. Just bring that down a bit and she will be a less popular choice in the meta, in my opinion. The other idea I had was tweaks to her super. Either change the damage reduction from her super to deter people from diving into a 2v1 situation with her when she has it, or increase the charge requirements for her super, making it so she can't use her super when pushing up, basically fully recharging it by the time the shield goes back down. I lean a little more towards the damage nerf, as I feel like that would be a better change in terms of bringing her overall strength in the meta down, but super changes could help her with that too. So the next brawler I want to talk about is Jackie. Jackie is one of my favorite brawlers right now, but there's no denying that she is way too strong the way she is right now. I had her ranked in Siege, and as an honorable mention in Brawl Ball in both forms of Showdown. Well, actually, I don't remember if she was in the Showdown list due to her use rates, but she has great win rates in the mode, and in my notes, I have her as an honorable mention, so that's what I'm going with. Also, if you watched the pro competition over the last weekend, Jackie was banned a lot, and if she wasn't banned, she got a lot of play, especially in Bounty, which is crazy to me. Well, anyway, I think there's a really big problem with Jackie, and that problem is that she is too simple. This is a problem because it makes her way too easy to over nerf and kill her. I honestly struggle with thinking of ideas of how to bring her back to the pack without killing her. You can't nerf her super because it doesn't do a ton of damage. And she doesn't do an insane amount of damage herself, so nerfing that really isn't a great fix in my opinion. One thing that makes her so strong is her gadget. 
I know it's kind of toxic, but it's the one thing that covers her weakness of short range. Maybe changing it from a 30% buff to 25 or 20% buff would make it a little better. However, making it a two-use gadget will make it very situational in my opinion and will hurt her way more than it sounds. The other thing I can think of is maybe bring her HP down by a few hundred points. They did that with BB last month and it seems to have balanced her out quite a bit, so maybe this could help balance Jackie too. This is honestly the one brawler I have no great ideas for, so if you have any good ideas for her, let me know down in the comments. Like I said, Jackie is super simple, so it's very easy to over nerf her. And the last brawler I want to talk about today is going to be M's. M's ranked in Brawl Ball and Duo Showdown and was an honorable mention in Siege and Gem Grab. M's is dominating both ladder and competitive play right now. She's probably the strongest brawler on the roster. She has a lot of strengths and thanks to her gadget, hardly any weaknesses. So the first thing I thought of for an M's nerf was her range. She doesn't have the longest range by any means, but making it so she needs to get closer to her opponents to do damage could be a step in the right direction, in my opinion. My second thought is maybe a damage nerf. It sucks when she's at the perfect range and you don't quite realize it, and then you get slapped with 2100 damage and you're half dead. I get that she's a tank counter, so that's kind of what she does, but that's just too much damage for anyone who isn't playing a tank. And the last thing I can think of is her gadget needs a full rework. The fact that it covers her one true weakness, being in her face, is kind of a problem. I'll be honest though, I don't know what a rework of her gadget would look like, so if you have an idea for that, let me know. So overall, I think these five brawlers are on the strong side of the meta. Judging by my meta list, actually playing against them, and watching the pros over the weekend, I'm confident in saying this. I think Ems and Sprout need the biggest nerfs, as they seem to be the go-to choice for pros, and just feel oppressive when you play against them at times. Rosa and Jackie need small nerfs, in my opinion. Not big ones, just ones that will bring them back to the rest of the pack. And Poco just needs his star power brought down a little bit to make the Poco tank combo a little less effective. As I say that now, that may also mean they need to buff his other star power to keep him more viable, but that's a thought for a different day. Alright, well, that's gonna do it for today. Remember, these are my opinions and my ideas, so if you don't fully agree with them, that's okay. Just let me know down in the comments and we can talk about it. Also, if you didn't check out my meta breakdown series and are interested, you should go do that. Leave a like and drop a sub if you enjoyed this, and like videos on Brawl Stars balancing and meta talk. It's kind of a big theme on my channel. I want to thank everyone for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.